All right, let's try this one more time. I've been trying to film this all day, a sort of correction or clarification on these two parachute jumping spacemen flanking the Ajax guy in black there in the middle. I took his helmet off so we can better compare facial details. Um, I'm still of the opinion that both of them are derived from that form. Uh, the triangular feature with the dots and the circular feature underneath it. Maybe it's a medallion. I don't know. Uh, it's too similar for me to dismiss. And if anybody recognizes it as being a costume from a show or a Flash Gordon movie or something, give me a hint. Um, but while looking at them more closely yesterday, I noticed on this guy's rear thigh there, Hong Kong. And so I've been incorrect in thinking that he may have been by Ajax. He's not. Uh, he's a copy. And indeed, his features are a little bit more closely modeled on the uh, Ajax guy next to him. At first, I was, I was like, you know what? It's almost a mirror image of it, although it's different. The Ajax guy is not holding a ray gun, uh, for starters, although they both have what I'm perceiving as an atom bomb strapped to their backs. Probably just a rocket pack or something like that. Um, the lighter blue guy, he sort of has something, but it's less, it's more sort of as an afterthought. Um, and the way that this blue guy is sculpted is completely different, uh, almost at odds with how the other two uh, were executed. It doesn't look comfortable to have his arm in that position. His facial details are also different. Um, his mouth looks shut. The eyes are are, are sunken. Uh, on this guy, especially, his, his mouth looks open and his eyes are protruding. Um, Ajax guy to a degree as well. His boots are also totally different than, than the other two. Again, there's a similarity between the two designs there. That's completely different. Um, and it's easy to say it, but he also looks and feels older than the uh, guy from Hong Kong. Um, who uh, they're, they're both, by the way, made out of a, out of a flexible, I'd call it army man plastic. Um, just slowly, carefully bend their, their loops there on the top of their heads. And I made sure that I had these two out also. On the left in gray is a Glencoe copy from the 1990s. Um, the more interesting is the guy in green who's an archer spaceman from the, from the mid, early to mid 50s. And I got them out just to show that their, 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 their suit designs and everything are completely different. Um, even the helmet design is, is very different from the uh, Ajax guy. So they're, 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 they're from a different school of thought. My opinion is that the green one is, again, made in Hong Kong. That says to me 1960 to 1972. After 1972, most of the plastics production shifted to mainland China, and he'd be marked made in China. Because he's made in Hong Kong, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say he's mid-60s. Blue guy, I don't know about, and I'd love to hear some opinions on his age and his possible manufacture. Um, chances are he's, 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 he's a low cost knockoff that somebody made in that style they'd probably already been making uh, parachute jumper guys shaped like army men and indeed when did army men parachute jumper figures first appear at all I, I have no idea I, I want to I, I would hope they would have been around for quite a bit 
30s or 40s, as long as people have been using parachutes, kids have been fascinated by people using them to jump out of airplanes and stuff. Um, so I'd love to know if anybody recognizes him, uh, his outfit, or any of it as being anything but derived from Ajax. If you have any idea who might have made them, give me a call. I, I, it's easy to say, well, MPC, multiple toy makers. I've never seen a Hong Kong spaceman look like anything but a Hong Kong spaceman. That looks like an Ajax spaceman. So who's copying Ajax spacemen in Hong Kong? Um, and who's making parachute jumping astronaut figures in the 1950s? Please let me know. Because as I like to say, I gots to know. I just gots.